So today we're getting ready to head up to Magna in Milwaukee, all the way to Wisconsin to go to the first Magna in about three years now. And I want to give you a little historical perspective on what we've been doing for the for literally myself for my entire life, building a living coral aquariums and natural balance ecosystems, jellyfish aquariums, freshwater aquariums, and just a litany of high-end aquariums for my entire life. It's a beautiful summer day here in hot Florida, and we hear it's gonna be in the 60s in the morning in Wisconsin. That's gonna be super nice. So reef aquariums have evolved through the years. We had natural balance systems when I was a kid in 1971 and won best to show at the Florida Marine Aquarium Society to where we go now with, with really significant jellyfish installations. We've done dozens of high-end jellyfish aquariums and really significant reef aquariums. the grow-in of all these aquariums and all these massive projects have led to a tremendous amount of success with one of the finest aquarium service routes in North America of reef jellyfish, saltwater ponds, freshwater aquarium systems, and all of our expansion into aquaculture and all the different things that we've done. Dozens of deliveries with cranes and we've flown aquariums in with helicopters and just by brute force and carrying them, we've rolled them in the Egyptian way, we've jacked them up and, and put them in with forklifts and lulls and anything and everything you could think of of any way to install a successful aquarium for the long term. Really, it comes down to the foundation of building a beautiful aquarium installation and recognizing that once you get it started, it's a lifetime of caring for the animals and growing this significant piece of living coral ecosystem and the overgrowth of the corals through the time and the harvesting of the corals and the caring of the fish, feeding of the fish and the corals and the additions of calcium, alkalinity, magnesium, water changes, you name it. It's a, it's a plethora of important physical elements that need to go in place to create a successful, living, thriving ecosystem. Our Shogun Aquarium here is a prime example of what a successful aquarium will look like and grow into for years to come. Can't wait to see it another year or two from now, overgrowing, and three years from now just fully jam stocked with corals like the aquarium we did at the Smithsonian 14 years ago. So we're heading to Macna. We'll give you a little report next week on how Macna went and what it looks like up there in Wisconsin. See you then.